Hi everyone. This video we are going to discuss about RPA real world use cases. When we talk about use cases, suppose you are working on banking for example banking and finance sector the first thing for the use cases is challenges what are the challenges we are facing before RPA after RPA in the use cases see when we talk about banking employees this sorry customer dissatisfaction customer or client dissatisfaction vacation cost missed opportunities so we can tell lack of scalability integration method so we can tell a lot of the things suppose after the implementation of your robots so what is the impact has been done to the particular field so we can tell suppose you are implemented your banking sector robots how many FTUs sorry how many FTEs saved So before to FTEs, how many robots in production within assume 10 months? Suppose you have 10 robots deployed in production within two months. So you have to calculate what is the FTE you had achieved through your opportunity. See when we talk about FTE that is full time evaluation. Suppose think about that. So you are going to bank. So now one of the accountant is working in banking. Accountant. So this accountant is one FTE full time evaluation. Suppose you are deploying a part that will replace that accountant five working days three sixty five days twenty four bar seven shift if your robot replaced 
or else your robot your your production deployment robot has done this all this one accountant work then probably we can allocate 0.8 g 0 fte not 1 fte probably not why i'm telling not 1 fte suppose the accountant maybe probably your robot has completed whatever the accountant work within the five working days 365 days within 24 hours 7 so whatever happen your robot must need some attended or evaluation which means some manual movement or manual check has manual check has to be required for your robot because think about that your robot has given one lakh rupees to the particular customer suppose the bank generator and power supply has been stopped when robo has counting 1 lakh rupees so in that particular scenario how the man will behave see immediately he starts to counting the notes he will count he will continuously work without any problem or else he can get some help from others but your robo will not do so in that situation probably in companies it will provide 0 0.75 to 0 0.80 FTE max to the replacement of the one full time evaluation Suppose your robo has replaced 10 employees in your organization. Probably you will get 7 FTEs max. It's because if you want to replace 10 employees then 7 FTEs you will get but remaining 3 FTEs has to be for manual intervention auditing and revalidation so this kind of situation you will not get full benefit you will get 75 percentage 60 to 70 percentage of FTE benefit okay okay when you talk about use cases it's about thinking about you are in digital workforce logistic and customer service um, in that case how the order scheduling and tracking will happen how the billing and collection how the freights and bidding will happen what are the coating and how customer service operation will happen so in all the cases will contain under the challenge and opportunities how many robots will uh, robots has been implemented and 400 robots put into production in 18 months so what is the result that is main thing see if you are doing the one, one robo or 10 robots in production what is the result the faster time revenue what is the revenue in one month robot identify this is the 
receivables suppose how this receivables or else your uh, your robo revenue has been identified suppose uh, my previous example like control right one accountant has 18000 salary in that case one year i can take for example 2 lakhs and assume that 2 lakhs so the revenue is suppose 10 robots revenue is 20 lakhs and probably this is the faster time revenue so the next thing is significant efficiency gains robot doing the equal equivalent of 15,000 plus hours of work annually so these 20 lakhs will come under how many hours of work think about one robo is doing 10 hours 10 robos is doing 100 hours per day monthly will come under 30 into 100 probably 3000 in yearly 36,000 hours 36,000 plus hours of work annually this is the result this is the use case result think about that man will work only 7 hours 8 hours uh, probably if you are going work you can't work all the eight hours maybe probably six hours of complete work two hours of break and others etc so but robo is working 10 hours schedule per day probably you can get the benefit of the 36,000 works annually hours of hours annually this is the result so what is the premium service had done lead to one company increase in business from 400 to over 2,000 loads per month so think about that uh, instead of banking think about BBO it's a significant it will happen the significant change it will suppose you will get suppose think about that now you heard 20,000 data volume per day suddenly your volume has increased per day 2 lakhs data how you can process on it you can use 10 robots and 24 bar 7 maybe probably some robots can work 20 hours per day so probably your result will 20 percentage will increase annual revenue this is the premium service so when you talk about use cases you have to mention all the results challenges probably challenges what is the opportunity you received and probably your implementation and the results this all come under the use cases suppose how you can mention your challenge okay think about that that company you had probably given to solution as the IT company maybe they were received 15,000 calls a month a significant amount of time was being spent by first line support team and uh, complexity uh, when we talk about complexity that 
what type of complexity of system and process and average time for each incident so how the incident has been resolved suppose you are thinking about that your incident or else your automation incident has been resolved in six minutes manually maybe it will come under the automation maybe four to five minutes sometimes maybe increase six to eight minutes uh, think about that your autom if you give the solution of the automation it's not all about reduce the timing it's all about how the quality you are giving through the robots and inefficiently navigate very system to access manipulation update information and subsequent app offering and services these are the challenges you are facing and you had you had overcome that process and if you got the process you are done the delivery it, it is delivered within two weeks the automation solution provided through virtual workers in place of human agents able to complete task in less than 50 seconds now you can see six minutes it's come under 50 seconds that's an 83 percent reduction of the execution time so think about that it's all the time it will not happen six minutes come under 50 seconds sometimes six minutes will if you automate some robots six minutes will, will go uh, beyond eight six minutes or below six minutes so that is not easy that quality is important stability is important along with this improved customer service the volume of support you done and technique subsequently has been redeployed product producing a tangible cost efficiency and estimated one million dollars that is the outcome when you talk about outcome is your outcome rapid deployment what is the deployment you done two weeks project execution time reduced by the 83 percentage productivity saving 1 million annually it's saving 1 million because you are reducing your time you are reducing your execution time you are reducing uh, you deployed within two weeks and your robots has n number of robots you deployed so that is the reason productivity saving is 1 million annually so you can use this type of rpa use cases when you created use cases thank you guys thanks for watching this we can learn more more things in rpa in our next videos bye